Did you know that according to the Ryan Association of Realtors, there was less than one month's supply of homes available for sale at the end of December? That was the second month in 2021 that housing inventory levels fell below the one month supply mark in Rhode Island. I'm James Duffer with Rise Real Estate Consultants, and this is your January 2022 Rhode Island Real Estate Market Update. At the start of the pandemic, the big housing story was how prices were soaring due to the historic shortage of properties for sale. Now, the shortfall is spilling over into the rental market. The reason that rents are rising so quickly is that more people are competing for places to live. The rental vacancy rate, which is the amount of rentals available to rent, fell to 5.8% the lowest it's been since the mid 80s. And rents spiked in response, rising nearly 20% annually this past November in the nation's 50 largest housing markets. That puts renters into a predicament. As rents increase in response to the demand, some wonder if their rent is hitting sub-mortgage payment territory. And in some cases, they're not wrong. It is always a smart idea to know what resources and programs are available. Most people were renters before they bought their first home. On to the numbers. Single family homes held firm from last month's report at $375,000 and 38 days on market. Condos are still leading the pack with another significant increase, over $16,000 compared to last month's update to $309,900 and 41 days on market. Multifamilies are still rising, up an additional $5,000 to $390,000 and 31 days on market. Who you work with matters matters more than ever. I'm James Duffer with Rise Real Estate Consultants, and this has been your January 2022 Rhode Island Real Estate Market Update.